We should go our separate ways But now you're back Begging for a place to stay Oh, it's not right What's up, Reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zola Tank Boys! In this episode, guys, we're gonna be fragging a ton of stuff, starting with an Aussie gold torch. So the reason we're gonna frag it is because Hector picked it up. It has like three big heads that are splitting into other heads. And for the survivability factor, each one of us is gonna keep a frag in our tank for grow out. Also, my dragon soul is gonna get fragged. And we got some Zoa, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let's go. Hector, so how do you feel about this project? Man, I'm nervous and I'm excited. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect thing for us to be able to propagate our corals safely. So, so the people know, um, do we, have we ever used this before? We haven't, so uh, this is gonna be experience for all of us. Yeah, so we're using a diamond bandsaw. Um, we saw a lot of reviews and everybody raved about this model here. So we did buy it second hand, so we put a new little blade thing on it, so it's ready to go. Definitely kids, don't do this at home. We are somewhat professional. <laughs> Here, we're gonna put the video of Hector grabbing his torch for fragging. I did move, so I had to move a lot of my tanks and whatnot, and they were all acclimating. Um, I actually added, if you guys go to our Instagram, I added a new member to the tank. It's a huge colony of Aussie 24 karat gold torches. Now, some disaster struck. Uh, my tank made a big no-no. It was still going under acclimation. And long story short, my torch is not doing too good. One of the heads seems to be melting. So we came up with the big idea to make it a fragging day today. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a few of my corals to Manny's house. And Manny's got a few corals he's going to frag as well. So therefore, if something happens to one of these frags, we will still have other frags available to grow out and still add to our tanks in the future. So without further ado, let's get this process started. All right guys, so here we have a bowl, salt water, some zoanthids are there. And there you see, Hector, get a close up of that torch. It's super closed up. As you guys can see, there are really nice areas to frag. So we're hoping to get three frags out of this. So this bandsaw, um, I've kind of done a little bit of research on, on how to use it. And I do have a lot of friends that know how to do this. So I did get some info. Um, essentially, I'm gonna put some water in the little reservoir, the well area, because what last thing you want is this blade to get hot. So as the water touches it, it keeps it cool and does a smooth cut. So we put this plate over it. Let me add a little bit more water because it was a little low. Guys, if you've used this before, leave a comment, right? We're always learning. Put this in here. Whatever you do, don't cut your finger off. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, I'm doing it, guys. Let's see. Hector, can you tell them why you're doing it and I'm not doing it? Because man is blind and he can't see the saw. That's true. All right. Hi 
Hector, how did that feel? I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. I'm still adrenaline rushed, but it was great. Check it out. Clean slip. Okay, so now we have to cut it in the middle to separate these two heads, because that one is staying as is. So put that one back in the water. Alrighty. Here we go. <sighs> Let's see your fingers. Did you make any frags? They're still There's there? All ten fingers, guys. Your... Alright. That looks pretty good if you ask me. Alright, so this was the infected one. This one's the one that was actually melting. So it's a good thing we got it taken off. Um, this one's pretty healthy. And then we have these three here that are pretty healthy. <sighs> that was a drill rush, guys. I got all three, ten of my fingers. I gotta go. Alright, guys. So now we're gonna pull the dragon soul out of the tank. Because the dragon soul's gotten so big that it has a whole bunch of babies in the bottom that aren't getting any sunlight because the other heads will have overgrown it. So, let me see if I can just pop it off. Oh. If you guys can see those babies there, those get no light, so I do want to frag those off. Hector, do we, we still have water in the cup? Yeah. I'm going to close them up real quick. I'm probably going to frag all the babies in there. There's one, two, three. Close up, boy. All right, guys. Let's get them under the saw. All right, guys. So here we have the torch. If you can see here, these babies get no light. So my goal is to frag this individual baby and then these three here. Let's turn on the saw and let's lose a finger. Okay, so here we have three little babies. Let's put this right here. All right guys, so we were able to split this up. So I got actually a three header with babies and an individual head. And everything left here is healthy, looks good. So this is going back in the tank. I'm actually gonna give Hector some of these heads of the torch. Um, so let's glue some of this stuff, put it in the tank, and then keep fragging. All right, Reefer, so it's been about 48 hours since we fragged the torches, and I want to report some of the torches are doing great. Some of them are taking a little bit of time to acclimate. Um, since you guys saw the tank in the last video, um, there have been some changes too. So... Zoanthids, so you're doing really well. Guys, if you follow us on Instagram real quick, little side note, GMK. Super, super stoked. Huge shout out to C in the City for hooking it up. Incredible deal. I couldn't pass it up. So I can't wait to grow this puppy out. But yeah, going back to the rest of the tank, guys. This torch is doing phenomenal. No complaints there. This one was open all day. The back is doing great, but these are not doing so hot. And then there's another one that was the one that wasn't dying, that wasn't doing well from the beginning. So one major reason why fragging is super, super important is because there might have been an infection in the one that was dying that I have in my anemone tank. 
and it could have got to these, but in Fragonet, at least this one's gonna do well. The back of this one looks like it's doing well. These two might not be doing so good, so I'm probably gonna frag those. Yes, um, those were iodine dipped. So cross our fingers, guys, but let's take a, look, a little look at the tank real quick, since there are some pretty cool updates. Transferred some of my anemones in here. Picked up the stunning Space Invader Pectinia. I've always wanted a Space Invader Pectinia. Um, I tried it out once when I first got in the hobby and I kind of chickened out and I ended up trading it. But everything is doing super, super awesome. Very bright mushroom that I picked up recently. Picked it up at a Nella Fest. I think it was in Melbourne. New zoanthids, can't complain. Bought those recently locally. What else, what else? Oh, the OG, guys, I'm super happy to report the OG's actually doing well. For a while, he wasn't too happy. There was too much flow in the tank. Um, but yeah, everything is thriving, guys. So let me turn off the flow so we get a little top-down shot and you can see how well everything is doing. But no complaints, no complaints. All right, guys, so the flow is off. So this dragon soul seems to have a lot of the head splitting. So I hope that's what it is. Um, I know those look like they're splitting. They open up, they close up. Usually that's the behavior they show. So cross our fingers. But guys, everything oh. is looking awesome. I did a huge, I, I wanna say it was a 30 gallon water change on the tank yesterday. Guys, this right here, it does not stop popping heads. Literally, I mean, I have about 15 heads of that thing. But there have been some changes. A little bit of the aquascape is different. Track is swollen. But yeah, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give a little prayer so those torches make it through. Let's get a top down shot of that GMK. Yeah, that puppy's looking good. Mushrooms are doing awesome. But yeah, guys, in about six months, man, maybe even sooner, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit anything in here. So I am gonna start fragging and putting everything. Probably my anemone tank, I did put a frag wreck in there so I could start kind of having a little fragging system there. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. But yeah, no complaints fragging. I did give Hector some of the heads. So um, we'll, we'll check on him, see how those are doing. But yeah, the tank is doing pretty awesome. All right, Reefers, so I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa Tank Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And as always, till next time, Zoa Tank Boys out. Ah!